This is a tutorial uh, to show you how to select items in Photoshop to separate them from the background and uh, to create a collage using Photoshop basics. So the first thing we need to do is to open the file that has the image in it that we want to separate from the background. So we go to File Open and I'm going to select the file I want to open. And this is the file. Alright. I'm going to make it just a little smaller using the percentage window down here at the bottom so I can see the entire image. Then I'm going to select over here the quick select tool. If I click on the white area here and uh, keep clicking, you can usually click and select large areas. Um, and as you can see, as I click and drag, I can click and select large areas, but it's not doing a good job of working around her hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try another method where I go to select color range and I'm going to try it using color range where I select the color I would like to delete. Everywhere I click this color will disappear and it will turn white leaving the darker areas as the unselected areas. So I'm going to click I'm going to gradually click. This is, as you can tell, this is a little better method of selecting the background. It's not selecting her clothing or her hair um, because her clothing is a green color and her hair is brown. So it doesn't really separate out a little better. So, let's see. I'm going to try this one. I'm going to click OK. And so it has selected certain areas. I'm going to do it again just to make sure uh, that I select. I'm going to take this down a little more and put 20 on there. Let's see what happens if I do 10. Um, I think I'll try 20. And then I click OK. All right. So now we got a little better range. Um, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, go to Image. Let's see where I'm gonna go to. Select, and I'm gonna do it inverse, and that's gonna select the person, not the background. I'm going to control C, copy, and then paste. And when I paste, you can see it put her on a different layer. If I turn around the background, turn off the background layer, you can see her. I'm going to leave the background layer off. And I'm going to try to remove some of the gray areas uh, that did uh, not get removed. I'm going to use the magic wand for this. So I'm going to turn down the tolerance level is at 32 now. I'm going to turn it down to about 16. Let's see how that works. That's a little, that works a little better. Uh, that does select uh, a smaller amount of color, a lower uh, level of colors. The higher uh, the tolerance level, the more colors it will select. So you want to Limit the colors you select just to the ones you click in the areas you select. Alright, so I'm going around the edges of her body and her hair to see if I can get some more. Just to get enough so that I get rid of the background. And then I'll probably have to go back with another tool and clean it up. So I'm just going to select a couple more times. Let's see if we can get a little more. Alright, so I think 
we selected pretty much selected a good amount of that background all right so now I'm going to clean up some of these edges around the edges of her body and for that I just zoom in and after you zoom in uh, you use your eraser tool this is the eraser tool here and with the eraser tool let me make sure I have the right pen selected here Let's see, I've got a few fit on screen. And make sure I have the back Alright. And now I'm going to erase a little more to make sure the edges are a little smoother. And with that, I'm just using this eraser tool and I'm just going around the edges. There's quite a bit of dark area still left around the edges of our hair. So I'm just going to use this eraser tool to get the edges of her hair and her body smooth so that we don't have jagged edges. You can change the size of your brush at any point if you decide that you want to have a smaller brush to get into smaller areas. You can definitely do that. You can change the size of the brush here. And you can make it a little smaller. And then that will let you get into these smaller areas here. And clean up the edges of her hair. So I'm going to, let's see, took off a little too much right in there. All right. Let's see if I can clean this up just a little bit so we have some smoother edges. Alright. Alright, that's pretty good. Trying to make the edges around the edge of her face a little bit smoother. So after you get everything where it looks like it's pretty clean, and I'm just doing it really quickly to show you how to do it. Um, but once you get your edges looking pretty clean, then uh, you'll probably, after you put the background in, you'll be able to see where you need to clean up some more edges. But for now, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, now we're going to put in our new background. So right now I'm going to go to File Open and I'm going to find my new background file. And I'm going to um, select it. And let's see. Let me, look at, let me go back to my other file. I'm going to look at the uh, image size. And I'm going to look at it inches, so it's 17 by 10, so I have a general idea what size it is. I'm going to look at my background image, and I'm going to image size, and it is 8 by 4. Um, so I'm going to change this to 17. I think that might work out better, so I'm going to select it after I change the size and copy and then when I go in here I'm going to paste it so it's almost the right size so we could size it up a little bit so I'll go to edit transform and then when I go up to edit transform I will go to scale and you will carefully uh, size up the image try not to stretch it um, all right and now you see it's in front of her so we want to put her in the back so you just take in the layers palette you just move it back behind her like that 
Now that we've uh, moved her, you can see that there's some edges that need to be cleaned up. I'm going to move her and do some other things first, and then we'll go back and clean it up. So on the level, uh, on the layer that she's on, I'm going to select her. I'm going to move my select, use my selection tool, hold down shift, and I'm going to move her over to the side here. And as I move it, I can see this ghost of uh, the background that's still left. So I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger than mine. And then I'm going to erase whatever this is over here. And there's quite a bit over there. Alright. We'll go around the edge of our hair a little bit. As you can see, there's a little bit of white still in there. And you can go in and zoom in really close and really get rid of those edges. Um so that they're pretty clean. You don't want to have jagged edges on anything when you're doing stuff like this. Just so that it has a nice clean look and it looks uh, a little a little nicer, a little cleaner, less pixely. Um, so let's just take a little bit more off here and then we'll move on and add our other objects and things that we need to do for the assignment. Okay, now after I have taken off all the jagged edges that I need to, then I'm going to start putting in my other items um, for the assignment. Okay, so the first thing I want to put in is uh, let's see. Thank it. That's it right there. All right, so that's the first thing I want to put in. All right, so I'm gonna again. I'm gonna select it just like I selected before. I'm gonna go up to select color range, and I'm going to select the background, and then I'm gonna go OK, and I'm going to uh, inverse it. Go to select inverse. Um, then there's another little trick I don't think I showed you in class but when you do uh, select you can modify the selection and you can contract it just a little bit to get those white edges off so I'm going to contract it um, by two pixels and um, I'm going to select OK so I don't know if you noticed but the border went in just a little bit um, then I'm going to uh, copy it and then I'm going to go to back to my image that I was working on and I'm going to paste it in okay and then I'm going to size it down again by going to edit transform scale holding down shift and scale it down just a little bit so that the size looks appropriate looks like what I want all right, and then my other object that I want to add, I'm going to go file open and I'll find that item and uh, click on that. Uh, with this, I will then again do the color range and see if I can select this outside area here. I don't want to select this because I want to make sure I just get the ice cream so I'll click OK. Um, let's see here, what can I do? So I've gotten rid of that. I'm going to double click on my background so that I can separate it. See if I can delete that background. Okay, I did. Alright. Then I'm going to select the ice cream, try to get the ice cream by itself. The reason why I'm doing it different this time is because I don't want to bother with this part at the bottom. So I'm going to copy that, go back to my image, and do paste. So I did a pretty good job selecting that. Now I want to change the size of it and change the direction it's going in. So I'm going to go to uh, Edit, Transform, Scale. I want to scale it down some. Alright. Then um, 
want to go to uh, edit, transform, and rotate. I want to rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it around like this. So I want it to look like Yoda's holding it. Hit return. Alright, so those are my two objects. Now I want to add some text. So I'm going to click. Um, I'm going to select. And I'm going to change my font to, um, let's see, um, this for now. And I'm going to type in, let's see here. Type in ice cream. There you go. Now, let's see. I'm going to select it again because I think I want to change the color. I don't want it that blue color. I think I even want it a pink. The pink color is nice. And I think see. I should find another font that I want to use. Um, I think this font is okay. Alright, I just want to make it larger. So right now it's at 200%. So I'm gonna put it at 300, see if that's too big. Not really. And where do I wanna put it? Let me make it. Hmm. Just want to rotate the word. Let's see. I rotate just the word. Okay. So now I've got my two items and I've got my word. Um, and that is how I quickly did that assignment. I hope this helps.